Hey guys, so I've been watching the Hans Zimmer uh, masterclass videos and there's a bit in it where he talks about the Joker's theme in Batman and he says they built this sampling system where you can hold down a chord and it'll converge all the notes down to one note and I thought that's a really cool idea. So I built my own little version of that uh, in highs using JavaScript and I just want to show you that in this video and this code's going to be available. I'll put a link on the YouTube uh, in the YouTube description. So if you want to get this code and play around with it and perhaps adapt it for contact or something, um, you're welcome to do that and you can reuse it how you like. And if you find any bugs or anything, just let me know. So I've got it on the screen here. I've set it up with a synth, uh, just a sine wave generator. And I've also got it set up with some samples. And we'll look at the synth first. Uh, but it works the same way. It just sounds a bit different. So, um, right, so at the moment I've got it set up to con be controlled by the mod wheel. You select the CC controller here. So with mod wheel, you can just see I'm controlling this bend knob back and forth from 0 to 127. Uh, we've got some lag time for the bend and you'll see how that smooths out the sound. Uh, here we can select the note that all the other notes are going to converge on. Um, so I've got that set to C4, let's set that to C3 and we've got a randomize button here and basically if that's on when you press a note it'll randomize this one here so I'll just show you that. So the first note will ra randomize this menu um, which I just thought was like a little cool thing to add in there to add a bit more chaos to it. So if I hold down a note and I'm going to move my uh, mod wheel and you'll see this bend knob go up and you'll hear it converge onto C3. So I'm just going to do one note for now. So I'll actually do uh, the C above. We'll do C4. Not that interesting, but let's do a chord. If we do some notes above the uh, convergence point, above C3 and some below, you'll hear some go up and some go down. That's pretty much it. Let's try it with the random mode on. And uh, this lag time basically just smooths it out. So if I set this to zero, set that back to C3 or something, it doesn't matter too much. Uh, you'll hear it's not quite as smooth. So you can hear more of the discrete notes in between. And then if I turn that right up to 500 milliseconds, and it also takes a bit of time to catch up the sound. You'll notice it gets to 127 before it's finished actually doing the pitch bend. You don't notice that delay if you're doing it more slowly. And if we look at the second one, which is, I've just loaded some string samples in here. Uh, again, we can set that to C3, so it's a good starting point. Um, yeah, that looks good. Let's just raise the lag time a bit. So I've just got some string samples in here. And they're looped so that I can keep this bend going for ages. And you can add new notes while the bend's going on and it'll play them at the correct uh, position in the bend. Uh, I'll just show you that with one note first of all. So if I've got the uh, the bend knob set to zero and I play a note, it's just going to sound at its normal pitch. If I move the bend knob uh, to 80 and I play it, I'll play it now with that pitch bend applied. So um, so if I add notes during a bend when I've already got a chord applied, uh, chord pressed down, it'll apply that pitch bend to the new notes as well. So 
so you can get a bit more chaos in there. And um, you probably heard that when I let's set the uh, pitch bend to about 90, when I play a note and I've already got some pitch bend applied, you hear sort of sweep up. That's because of this lag time. And if I turn that right down, it'll just go straight to the note. And if I have this set all the way up to 127, all the notes are going to be C3. Because they're all being pitch bent to uh, to that note. Alright guys, I hope that's useful. Um, like I say, it was just a bit of fun. Just thought uh, it'd be a takeaway from that masterclass, just get something practical out of it. And uh, put it into this little demo. I'm just calling it Zimmer Bend for now. I might think of a, a better name. Um, not sure what I'm going to use it for yet, but it, well, I'm sure it'll uh, an opportunity will present itself at some point. Um, anyway, the link's in the description if you want to get hold of this and try it out in highs. And uh, thanks for watching.